Is your fish oil supplement safe? <laughs> Welcome to Live Lean TV. I'm Brad Gatherow from LiveLeanTV.com. So guys, on today's episode, I'm comparing krill oil versus fish oil. The question is, which omega-3 supplement is better? So over the years, I've talked a lot about omega-3 fatty acids and the health benefits specifically of fish oil. And I've always said if there's one supplement to invest your money in, I'd say omega-3 fatty acids are the way to go. And I filmed an entire video on the benefits of fish oil. You can go watch that right here. So guys, it's no secret. The average US diet is deficient in the omega-3 fatty acids, EPA, and DHA. And in a perfect world, we'd all eat lots of foods that are high in omega-3 fatty acids, such as wild salmon. However, people either just don't like the taste or they're afraid of the reports of unsafe healthy metals like mercury and toxic compounds like PCBs found in some fish. And if you're wondering if you can get enough omega-3 fatty acids from just food, check this out. There are approximately 1.8 grams of omega-3 fats in a three ounce serving of wild salmon. And for people with high triglycerides, some doctors may recommend two to four grams of omega-3 fats per day. So if we take the middle dosage, three grams per day, that would be a total of 21 grams of omega-3 fats per week. Now, to get the recommended weekly amount of these omega-3 fats, people with high triglycerides would have to eat approximately 12 three ounce servings of wild salmon per week. So if that seems like a lot, this is when a high quality omega-3 supplement is so important to take. So the question is, are all omega-3 supplements created equal? In other words, should you just pick up the cheapest brand of omega-3 fatty acids at your local grocery store? Well, unfortunately, the answer is no. All omega-3 supplements are not created equal. Like most supplements, guys, there are high quality brands and there are also cheap, low quality brands. In fact, low quality fish oils can be rancid and oxidized. So if you're worried about that, a good way to test if your fish oil is rancid is by chewing a fish oil capsule after opening the bottle for the first time. Here's a quick little fish oil taste test. If it is a good quality fish oil, it'll taste fairly mild, but if the fish oil is rancid, it'll give off an acidic taste. Plus, when it comes to omega-3s, you can either supplement with either a high quality fish oil or a high quality krill oil. In fact, I've been getting a lot of questions recently about krill oil, so let's compare krill oil versus fish oil. So first off, what is krill oil? Well guys, krill oil comes from krill, which is like a shrimp-like small crustacean found in the icy waters of Antarctica. Now, if you're wondering what's in fish oil, the highest quality fish oils are usually extracted from a blend of oily, cold water fish comprised usually of sardines, anchovies, and maybe a mix of mackerel, herring, or tuna, and other fish. So fish oil contains more EPA and DHA than krill oil. However, the EPA and DHA in krill oil tends to be more absorbable by the body. Also, krill oil contains an antioxidant not found in fish oil called astaxanthin. Now this is what gives krill its pink color and increases the fight against those free radical damage in the body and inflammation. So which has a lower risk of added toxins? Well, since krill have a shorter lifespan than most fish, they have a lower likelihood of having higher amounts of toxins like mercury and PCBs. Also, larger fish tend to have higher concentrations of mercury since the toxins work their way up the food chain. Now, krill, on the other hand, is on the bottom of the food chain and mainly feeds on plankton. So bottom line here, guys, on which omega-3 supplement is better? Well, actually, they're both excellent sources of omega-3 fatty acids. Whether you choose krill oil or fish oil, I just highly recommend you do your research on the company that is selling the omega-3 supplement. Because if you buy the cheapest fish oil you can find, you're at risk of buying a low quality and potentially rancid fish oil that could potentially cause more damage than good. So when I lived in Canada, I loved taking a high quality omega-3 fish oil called Nutrisy. However, now that I live in the US, it's harder to find. And I've also taken the Omega Balance for my protein, but they've been out of stock for a long time. And I also like the Omega 3s from Nordic Naturals. And when it comes to krill oil, go check out the krill oil from my friends at Onnit. And if you've never heard of Onnit before, you guys, they offer some of the highest quality supplements out there. So I'll put a clickable link in the video description below and in the comments below, guys, let me know if you take krill oil or you take fish oil and which brand you take. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep living lean. Bum bum